I've postponed using the Asset Browser for months. Why? Why? I now understand how much time I've wasted and I'm here to help you out. Make a new folder and make a new blend file. Call the folder Asset Library and call the blend file Procedural Materials. Now add in the object with the procedural material from another file. You can choose to place it onto a UV sphere or a cube to make the object a lot more simple so that your file doesn't get blown out that much. You can add in way more procedural materials. I'm going to add in the stone material that we've made in the previous tutorial. Go to the material panel and give the material a proper name. Right click on this line, press mark as asset. Now hop on over to a new blend file to see if it all worked out. Open the asset browser right here and go to preferences. In preferences, we can go to file paths and under file paths, it should denote the right path that we've just created for our asset library. If it does not, just click on this icon and search for the map we've just created. Now your assets should become visible if you click on this line right here. Simply drag and drop and give your materials the desired texture. Now you don't have to do all these textures over and over again. You can just simply use them from previous projects and if you're smart and you make a new material shader, add them to the original blend file as well so that the asset library updates. If you want to, you can go back to the original blend file in which the materials are stored. And there we can press on this little map icon and it will create a new folder so we can actually organize our assets, which comes in very handy. So I'm going to call this map procedural materials and under procedural materials, we can divide it into stone or metal or wood or whatever procedural material you are making. If you want to, you can make another blend file and store some actual objects in them. This is actually done in the same way, only this time we do not have to press mark asset on a material, we just have to go to the objects, select them all, and then press on mark asset. And now it will be stored in the right location. I would advise giving it names, because if you give it names, it would work out in the future and you will be able to find back anything that you've created. I hope that if you have procrastinated using the asset browser just like I did, uh, that problem now is solved and that you can save countless of hours in the future. Enjoy yourself and subscribe!